So this is part two of my gymnastics video. I was basically cut off because there wasn't enough room in my computer. So I was talking about the writing journalist I met. He told me that you don't want to take writing classes, you don't want to study writing, because it'll strip your joy. They'll give you deadlines and pressure you. Be yourself, be the writer you've always meant to be. Gymnastics is the same thing. If you're an elite gymnast, if you're chosen, they'll pressure you and say, you didn't do that good enough, try again, keep doing it, try again, try again. And I feel that way too. I would anyways, I would try again. But if I was pressured to try again, mm. I would, some gymnasts might start to hate it. So you have to push yourself really hard because it's a hard sport. But for the Olympians, God possesses them between 90 to 99 percent of the way because you need wings to be near the air and do a flip without falling on your head or your stomach or your face. When I did backflips on the mat at my martial arts school, I would land on my knees. But the last time I tried, I rolled, I landed on my knees, rolled over off the mat onto the cement and hit my head. Then sat down for a couple of minutes, mm. and then my martial arts class started. Mm. So if you want gymnastics, pray for the, for the gift. If some call it talent, some call it a gift. So yeah, yesterday I started doing front layouts, and today I was working on my front walkovers. As I explained in my earlier video, um, you do the hurdle, you go into a handstand, hold it, do splits in the air. The foot that's closest to the that the front of the ground, you do a back bend, and that foot touch that has to hit the ground before the other foot. And so that hit that foot hands, then you stand up as you're putting the second leg down. And I haven't got quite like that yet. I kinda have a half foot walk over half foot number. So I would do the first leg lands first and the second one lands parallel to it. Kind of like a front limb, and a front limb is when you do the hurdle, go into a handstand, not doing the splits, and you go into the back one into both feet, and then you stand up. And the front walkover prepares you for front aerials, and the front limb prepares you for hand springs and front layouts. As far as back hands go, you do a squat, with your legs down, up like this, you out of your hand like this, so you can catch yourself on your hands, and then you jump off your hands onto your feet. I've done these many times with a spotter and without a spotter, but I've only gotten it with a spotter. Same with backflips. I only get backflips and back and back handsprings with a spotter. But the first time since forgetting who I was trying to back handspring, it kind of turned into a sloppy back layout. And I was so over it. Did I really do a back layout? I just did a back layout. What? Mm. And well, I did. And so I know I could do it, but I only got it once. Got for hands with many times. So yesterday I felt like I was watching gymnastics in the library mm. and I was thinking, oh my god, I'm sick and tired of watching gymnastics and not doing it. So I logged out, checked my books out, and went to the wilderness and threw some front layouts, front hands for and from walkovers. I did back bends. I tried to do a back limber, a back limber, then I do a back bend and mm. kick both legs over at the same time. And that's basically a drill for big handsprings. So in heaven, heaven gymnasts who do it forever, I don't have to quit because they just say, well, you're a little bit too old for it now. I'll never be too, be old, too old I'm a, because I'm a cherub too. Mm. Anyways, your coaches, there are drills. A drill for back handsprings and back limbers. Drills for back limbers and back walkovers are walking back and forth. So you stand up, go into your back bend, and walk all the way under your shoulder, walk all the way back to your feet, and you just walk back and forth. And, and you keep trying to kick over with both legs and with one leg. And always do the splits. The splits are important. Work on your side splits, both sides. You do left side first, then you go onto your heels, both heels. And then you, you put your elbows on the ground like this, or like this, I'm not sure I don't remember right now, and you go down as low as you can. Then you sit down and do a straddle stretch and try to make your lips and even your torso touch the ground 
Then you stretch each side. And then you do pike stretches. Mm. Anyways, in order to do advanced gymnastics, you have to do beginner's gymnastics. If you stop doing beginner's gymnastics, you'll lose advanced gymnastics. So basically, you do somersaults, forward, backwards, handstand somersaults. This really, really, really cool technique you usually have was a backwards roll into a handstand and then back on your feet. I used to be able to do it, but I don't have it anymore. I don't know how I'm going to get it back, but I'm really, really hoping they'll get it back. Just like I'm hoping I'll get my back walk over back again. I want to have it myself. And that's going to take a long time. I always think, oh, please help me. But my soul, I know I want to get it myself. So I can do it and never lose it. And so don't pressure yourself for gymnastics. You can have off days. If your back is sore and you just don't feel like doing it, you don't have to do it. When you feel like doing it, oh my god, I really feel like doing a flip now. Well, you had to flip like different handsprings, front layouts, back bends, one drill for back walkovers and front walkovers, or just one thing you back bend stand ups is you just do a back bend from standing or from the ground, which from the ground you put your hand in the ears and push yourself up into a bridge, and then you lift one of the legs high above you with your foot pointed and rock back and forth with one foot in the air. And then before you lay down, you switch legs, do the same thing, walk back and forth, and then switch, and then lay down or try to stand, or just put the foot down and try to stand up. So the gymnastics just really brings me joy. And I know I'm going to go to the gymnastics gym I trained in when I was three. I started at 40 and 30 something years ago, mm. and I stopped for a while. So if you can't do it, well, you'll get it. I promise.